Good morning, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Copenhagen, Denmark. Today we are focusing on Danish seafood. And if you look at a map of Denmark, you'll just see that there's so much coastline, there's so many bays and inlets of water. And so seafood and fish have always been a huge part of Danish culture and food culture. And we're gonna eat some amazing seafood in Cape Copenhagen today. But before we get started, it's about 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, we drove out to a harbor, which is called Vilfe, Harbor, I believe. We're gonna meet up with a fisherman. We're gonna see his fresh catch of the day and then we'll be eating seafood after that. Weather is definitely not on our side today, but Espen was telling me now I can introduce everybody to typical Danish weather. Cloudy, rainy, drizzling, very cold. Uh, but we're gonna make the most of it. Uh, we just met a fisherman, His, he's already docked and he's unloading the catch. So are you out all night? Yeah. You're out, what time, do you, that, what time uh, do you head out? One o'clock. One a.m.? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then come back by around now. seven? Okay. Right. Huh? What type of fish is this? This is cod. Cod, okay. Cod, yeah. All right. I got some trout over here. All right. Huge fuckers. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's trout. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, so the fresh catch, a lot of this right here is cod uh, from the boat. He puts it into um, baskets to weigh them, puts them into trays with ice. Could go immediately onto ice. Kept fresh. Those are really good looking fish. A couple of trouts for the day. Big. Yeah, those are big, huge trout. Well, I can't wait to eat seafood. Yeah. For the dinner. This one is cod. Espen is going to be cooking us a dinner in a few days from now, which will be in a different video. But he's buying a cod for that dinner. This was fantastic to see the, the fresh catch and uh, yeah, to see some of the, the Danish seafood production in the, the waters. It's still raining pretty hard, but we are back in Copenhagen and we're stopping at the meat packing district because we need a coffee. I got a, my standard double Americano. Mm. Oh yes, oh that's a good coffee. That is necessary, I've been waiting for this all morning long. Mm. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. district, the former meat packing district of Copenhagen. And I like how they still like retains, I mean all over Denmark, all over Copenhagen, what they've done is they've retained a lot of the industrial buildings. And although they've been repurposed, you still see the history, you still have the the character. We're gonna stop by a restaurant called Fiska Bar, which is kind of a modern style seafood restaurant, but people highly recommend it. It looks really good. Yeah, it's a really big, really spacious kitchen. Uh, and we're just gonna kind of walk around the kitchen and see some of the seafood that they're preparing. This is where we execute all the food. Okay. This is, this is our pastry section. This is our bread station. Smaller courses come from, small warm starters. Okay. This is where all the, uh, the big fish come from. The bigger plates of food here. Okay. And then it all gets plated at the, at the front. And then this is where we, this is the hotel for the seafood. Oh nice. This is the live seafood tank. Uh, sea cucumbers, there's some shells, there's some sea urchins, and then some of the Danish lobsters.
Okay, and then out at the front, which is like the bar with the, like facing the seating section, this is the raw bar section, so all of the raw seafood is prepared here. It's uh, assembled here, and it's such like beautiful plating, all the, all the different seafood, it's gorgeous. Okay, we're starting off with a plate of Danish oysters, and it's just so beautiful. I love that presentation on the rocks. Um, and served in the center is a like an apple vinegar. They look so good. Yeah, you have the vinegar. Want vinegar yeah. Wait a heck, you don't need that. Okay, then we we'll save the last one. I can't wait. This is already loosened, but I'm just gonna use the fork to like push it into my mouth. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Oh wow, that's incredible. Mm. That is just, oysters really are a pure representation of the sea. The quality of the sea. That's just like seafoody but neutral tasting at the same time. You taste the salt water. And then just with that, the, the vinegar is mellow and kind of fruity. And it just complements that saltiness. How was it, Desmond? It was very nice. Very awesome. good, very fresh. You get the, the sea taste, uh, which is very, very nice and clean. And, and these are Danish. Nice. What, what's the name of the Danish oyster? It's called the Lim, Limfjors oyster. Limfjors yes, oyster. Yeah. That's a beautiful like slice of bread um, and then kind of like a whipped butter, I believe. It's like so crispy, so fluffy on the inside. And then that whipped butter is kind of like herbed, I believe. Next dish we have is their uh, fish and chips, and this is codfish, so this is the fish that we've been seeing all morning long. I'm sure this is as fresh as possible with some of the romobella. I'm not totally sure how to pronounce it. A little bit of a hanger. Ultra fresh codfish. And that's like what it comes down to. And then as we were tasting the codfish, the fish and chips, uh, he brought out a couple more dishes. And these are like two of the most beautiful seafood dishes I've seen. Um, this one is, I believe, a, like a smoked fish, which has then been like, at first I thought it was scallops because of the thin slices and the circular shape, uh, but it's been rolled up. There's all sorts of just gorgeous garnishings on it. They make sure you get everything on one bite like all the ingredients so that you're not like hunting around for ingredients. That's sort of the idea behind Smokepoir as well. That is unbelievable. The smokiness of that fish, the kind of like creamy sauce, the, I believe like pickled shallots, that's the red thing, because it has that little bite of flavor. That tastes as good as it looks. Okay, next dish. This one is smoked pike perch, um, arranged in such an artful form with beetroot tartare around the outside and some flowers and I believe mustard seed as well. Yeah, I'll start from this, maybe this side right here. This is one of those dishes that's almost too beautiful to eat, but almost is a key word. Mm. Oh, like the sweetness of the beetroot. And then that fish has a total different texture from the other fish. Less of a smoky taste, but like, wow. Like slightly herbaceous. You've got the, the flowers and just the accents of herbs in there. And the mustard seed, the crunch of the mustard seed. A couple of the kind of like main course dishes have arrived. One, it looks like like noodles almost, but it's strands of squid and radish. And then table side, you poured on some chicken wing sauce. What an awesome combination. And then the other one is uh, flounder, a filet of flounder, which has been seared off with some vegetables and leek, I believe. Oh, okay. And as you tear into, into that, like kind of like the, the juices start flowing and like different colors come out. It's very juicy. Wow, that's outstanding. Oh, the squid is just like, it's like the texture of noodles, it's so soft. Then you taste like the essence of the chicken from that, that broth sauce. And then just like broken up with maybe some shallots or some onions. Mm. 
That's extraordinary, actually. Yeah, this one is the flounder. Wow, it's like so... Again, the freshness of the fish, the texture, is what you notice because of how how fresh it is. And then, it's kind of an herbal sauce. I love the leek in there, and kind of like a, a little bit of a creaminess to it as well. Oh. Yeah, good news, like the weather has cleared. It's not raining anymore. It is not as cold as before. And this is great news because of the next place that we're going on this, on this Copenhagen Danish seafood tour, which is, I think it's gonna be outdoors. Oh, this is perfect. Yes, clear weather. I, it looked like it wasn't even gonna clear at all today. Oh, this is good news. Okay, so we drove over to the harbor. We are waterside, and I'm not totally sure of his full story, but I know that he gives tours around Copenhagen, especially on bicycle. But focusing on seafood, which he cooks and prepares from his bicycle. Hello, Hello Mark. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. His whole his concept is uh, often cycling around with groups and then stopping places, gathering ingredients, and then just setting up the kitchen on spot, cooking on spot. So I'm excited for what he's gonna do. Okay, so first actually we're gonna just take a little walk down and actually this is like a it's like a urban farm of yeah. shellfish. Yes. Okay. It is. Right and it's amazing that the I mean the waters are so clean right in Copenhagen. Yeah. This, this is our the lines are growing lines as you can see here. This is like a rope with baby mussels okay. that have been here since this spring. Wow. So basically here we have uh, mussels that are like four months old, three, four, okay. five months old. Um, and these ones are basically ready to get transferred to, uh, to a stocking. Thousands exactly. and thousands of mussels. So you can imagine the a food strand. potential. Yeah. It's like crazy. Yeah. And it's growing in a completely natural way. Completely. You don't completely add natural. anything. Okay. Add it's only like water. This is bladder rack, one of the 400 edible uh, seaweed species ah, in Denmark. Okay. They're, it's completely natural, completely sustainable, and just they're encouraging seafood growth in a completely organic way. Um, and just the, the way they were explaining that it's a hanging seafood garden and just in that amount of space they can produce a thousand tons of mussels per year. They could. Yes. <laughs> Man, these guys are just so cool. Again, they just love what they're doing. They're having so much fun at the same time and they care so much about what they do and what they serve and how they preserve their environment. Okay, we're going back to the shop and they're gonna start cooking on the bicycle. Incredible setup. He immediately parks the bike. Uh, he immediately sets up, folds down the tables so you have bar counter style. It, it's a perfect little kitchen. Um, love it. Fast. <laughs> Everything set up. And yeah. We are working with uh, limitations. Um, and uh, many of my uh, my uh, tools have double function. I can give you an example. This uh, this uh, knife holder. Yeah. It is my salt holder. Yes. It <laughs> is also it's also a bowl when I need to ah, mix stuff, right? Very and cool. then the last feature is as well as it's a knife holder. It's also a lamp. So in the evening, in the evening. we can also illuminate the bicycle. No. Oh. 
take take a bite of that one. It's called pestinac. Pestinac. It looks like a white carrot or a radish. Mmm. No, oh, it kind of has a carrot flavor though. Yeah, yeah, a lot okay. of it. It makes the strong taste for too. Yeah. Mmm. Delicious. Can I have it? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks to the oyster. Salad oyster, yeah. Waldorf oyster. It's the a world first premiere, one. right? World first, premiere. first ever. It is an honor to have this opportunity, With and it includes cream, right? Yeah. Cream, cream, celery, yeah. Yeah. walnuts, yeah. lemon, uh, flowers. Yes, yeah. that's it. That's Waldorf. it. All on top of the oyster, and it yes. just the yeah. way he fixed everything. It's so gourmet, so beautiful, and the sun is out. That's Fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. Such a natural seafoody taste. The seawater. The creaminess of the oyster, the crunch of the walnut, the crunch of the celery, and a different kind of crunchiness. Mmm. Very, very good. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thank you for having us. Thank you for coming. Tradition on the tours to throw the oyster shells back into the sea. Back to. Back to the natural habitat. Some new dish. It's my get hot. Yeah, I'm happy to say, we go. And next. And course number two is ready. So he took the mussels, he deshelled them, sauteed them down in some oil with uh, a bunch of mushrooms, like so many different herbs and ingredients, the green onions, there's tomatoes in there. And then he put it into a, like yeah. a big, huge spinach leaf wrap. Um, and that's just so much freshness going on. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very fresh. With that sprinkle of cheese at the end and pepper. Mmm. Oh, the mussels in there though. All the different herbs. That's delicious. And that is just like purely home cooked on a bicycle. Genuine. And is this your knife sharpener right here? Yeah, Bria, take it up. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, just thank you, you uh, so much. Thank you for stopping by. Incredible. Great. I loved it. Thank loved you. it. Thank you so much. Sukulkokken. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. Yes. Huge thank you, Martin. That nice was, meeting you. That was absolutely spectacular. Huge thank you to Martin. You're doing great things. He has so much energy. Um, and it would be awesome to cycle around with him to eat at various stops. That is the most gourmet bicycle food you will ever have. That was fantastic. I loved it. Okay, so we started off this morning, we saw the fresh catch of the day, then we had a modern take on Danish seafood, and then the amazing bicycle cart seafood with Morten. Everything so far has been extraordinary, but there's still one more totally different side, different like style, old traditional style of Danish seafood that we haven't tried yet, but there was no way I wanted to do a full ultimate Danish seafood tour without the traditionals. We're ready to eat some more seafood and I'm excited for the traditional style of Danish seafood as well. I think we are first tonight, but yeah, we're here right as they open. We've got a table right at the front here. And yeah, we're, we already know what we're gonna order. Okay. Oh yes. My kind of chairs too. Like the bucket seat. Yeah. Love it. 
yeah, plenty of good, amazing sounding seafood on their menu uh, with different starters, lobster, cod. Have a good day for Cheers, a very good day. Thanks. Mm, yeah, that's gonna go great with the shellfish. They're so crispy on the outside. Oh, look at that. Oh, the steam. That needs butter. Top crusty, crunchy. Mm. Fresh and it's so crispy on the outside. So like soft and fluffy on the inside. So you got some uh, fin de clair oyster, some langoustines, some mussels, some shrimps with it. Some uh, snow crab and then uh, a vinaigrette here for the oysters with some uh, elderflower and red onions. I was expecting big and beautiful things, but this is next level big and beautiful things. This is the seafood royale platter, the royal Danish seafood platter. There's shrimp, there's crab, there's oysters, there's langoustines, there's a lobster as the centerpiece, there's mussels, there's seaweed, there's a variety of sauces, there's some roasted like grilled lemons. Oh, this is beautiful. I just want to put my face in it. Oh. And the different sauces that go with it. Yeah, yeah. Different types of oysters. This is spectacular. Oh. Should we start with uh, maybe some of the crab maybe? Yeah, sure. To some of the crab. Here's yeah, crab that with claws. Oh. I think it's about to just pop out. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Grilled lemon. And now this is just shellish. It should be able to just pour into my mouth. Mm. Oh well, okay. Not quite that easy. I kind of got to scoop a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there it comes. Well, what are we going next? Oysters? Yeah, we go back to- Go back to the oysters? All right. And we have two different types of oysters too. A little bit of the vinegar with onions in it. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow. We've had a lot of good oysters today, actually. Shortly into the old planner. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, vinegar with the uh, onions in it. Wonderful. A few of these shrimp next. Which sauce do you normally eat with the shrimp? Head. Mm. Mm. Yeah. That is top quality. Oh, they're sweet, especially as you keep on chewing them. Really sweet. Quickly try some of the seaweed. Mmm. Like pickled too, right? Very like sweet and sour. Really nice. Really good texture too. Beautiful pop off the, the head here. Come back. I might explore one of those sauces to go with this langoustine. Got the langoustine completely shelled now. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. Mm. And that sauce is actually wonderful. Maybe a little bit of horseradish in it. I spice it up a little bit. Oh, that langoustine just melts in your mouth. It's cool and refreshing. Starting on this lobster now. I believe this is one of the Danish lobsters. Oh, just so much meat. <laughs> okay, I think I'll just lemon. That's it. Mm. Well, that is muscular. Mm. Mm. Awesome. I should probably use a knife and cut it, but they said no rules. You know, the only rule is to enjoy it. Yeah. That's definitely what we're doing. Time for the, this one is the sand lobster, right? Sand crab. Yeah, sand, sand crab. crab. Okay. Yeah. We're getting down to the bottom of the seafood tray. We're seeing, we're seeing a lot of ice now. It's a sad but happy moment, um, but to the, the sand crab. Yeah, these you can tell there's gonna be a lot of meat in the 
and those legs, those lanky legs. Oh, what is that? The crab is not like, it's not a huge thing. Okay, here it comes. Come on, wiggle out. <laughs> yes, come on, the strandiness of it. Oh yes, we got, a, we got the entire piece. Wow. Oh, that's really good. So stringy, so sweet. Naturally salty from the seawater. Starting to become on a little bit of a seafood high right now. It is all done. It all comes down to the lobster claw. That was leisure because you have to like peel everything and crack everything. But at the same time, it went, oh, it went nice and fast and it just all went down easily. There it is, it's like a baseball mitt. Yes, a little bit of a lemon, I think that's all you want. Yeah, I don't think I should one bite this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the responsible way. Mm. Little piece of shell, mm. Wonderful. And that just like wraps up this really was a royal treatment Danish seafood platter. I loved it. And this atmosphere, this place is so classic. That was just the ultimate royal Danish seafood platter treatment. I love this ending. Uh, to end this seafood day in Denmark, some really delicious seafood and just the amount of coastline that Denmark has there blessed by an abundance of richness of seafood. So that's gonna be it. That's gonna wrap up this Danish seafood tour today. I wanna say a big thank you to Esben for taking me around and to uh, visit Copenhagen for arranging everything, for setting everything up, for inviting me to Denmark, to Copenhagen. And I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. And also so that you make sure to watch all all the rest of the videos of this Danish food tour uh, in Copenhagen. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.